In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do Neptune tricks or like how I do my tricks. So there are like more than five or six or seven or I don't know how many ways how to do tricks. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you my way. If you want a tutorial of all the tricks or methods that I know without plugins, with plugins, with flow frame, without flow frame, feel free to write a comment. But before the video starts, let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video. It is a game I already played a lot myself and I really, really love it. Black Clover Mobile Rise of the Wizard King. It's a turn-based RPG in the world of Black Clover. Now it's finally time. They released the new SSR character, Black Aston. Unleash the power of darkness and summon him right now to make your team even stronger. But that's not all. If you download the game right now, you will get 10 summons for free to increase your chances to get Black Aston. It didn't end here. Season 4 begun as well and you have the opportunity to summon SSR Noel and SSR Charmy in their cute little devil and pumpkin costume. Complete the special missions and unlock the chance to get a free limited character from the gateway of Rio. There are also cherry blossom petal missions where you have to collect cherry blossom petals to exchange for exciting rewards that helps you to get even stronger. Create your own special lunchbox by unfold your creativity. The spring picnic event allows you to send your heartfelt created lunchboxes to the majors to receive a magical gift in return. But you should hurry up because this event only lasts for two weeks so scan the QR code or check the link in the description to dive directly into the world of Black Clover Mobile and summon your favorite mages. Thanks Black Clover for sponsoring this video and now let's continue. Okay, so let's start. The first thing you need to do is just choose your clip. For the tutorial I choose the Demon Slayer clip here like Akasa Punching Rengoku Sword. Pretty simple clip. First step, cut the clip. And we start, well let's start here. Now, second step, recompose it. Now you have to open timer map and keyframe every moving frame, like that. Okay, and now we're done with that. Now you have to put every keyframe to the left. You can do it like that. You can mark all of them, press Alt and then put it to the left like that. Or you just do it like me. You have a script for that. You click on remove first, remove last, stretch properties and the player says and you instantly. There are multiple ways to do. Some people do it with cutting, but I'm doing it that way. Next step, pre-compose it again and you have your clip here. And how I do my tricks is, I now add it to the render queue. I save it in any folder. I call it, mostly I call it one. Then I render it. Done. Always save your project files because After Effects is crashing a lot. Now I'm using Flowframe. Let me find my clip real quick. I just drag it to input video. Put the output FPS and speed on X8. And now I change the output mode to PNG, like pictures. Then I click on interpolate and now we wait a second. While we're waiting, I have to close my window again. Oh shit. Okay, it's done. Now, pretty simple. Next step, I mostly create a folder name. One. Then I click on import, file. I have the clip and now it's here. It has this weird name. You click on the first picture, double click and you have the whole thing. One to 425 pictures. Then I drag it into one. Go back to my Twixer tutorial. Delete it if you want to add your sound effects. You have to clear file here, but PNGs doesn't have sound obviously because these are pictures. And you see it's long. It's very long now. Make the composition a bit longer. Let's do 15 seconds. Yes, and now you see we have a very long clip at that. And it's already smooth. Like you don't even need tricks now. You can just time remap it. And if your clip is like only one second and I don't know what, you just time remap it like that. Pretty simple. And you're done. Mostly, I just time remap it. I call it one. Then I add Twixto Pro. And now we have to look which settings I have to use here. I made a screenshot of that because I have a preset for that and I always forget something. So let me please check. This must be correct. That's why I have to be sure what I'm doing here. I think that's it. Yeah, after adding Twixto, I pre compose it again. And now you can time wrap the shit out of it. Like, you want you can just do or is it one scene like that 
It's rendering longer now because of the Twixer, obviously, but it's way smoother in my eyes. These are like two clips if you want to have it like four seconds and you want to make two time remap transitions with it. It's pretty simple as well, like, oh, you can do it that way, but I prefer cutting it and doing it like that. Uh, something like that would be cool. And here we do like that and now let's wait a second for the pre-render. Three days later. It's taking ages. Many months later. Holy fuck, it's for real taking ages. <clears throat> One eternity later. And now it's looking like that. It's pretty smooth, like with some scales and positioning and rotation, there will be a bit more movement. After I finish this, like this is the Trickster tutorial, I mostly render it again and then I put topaz on it so I have a completely fresh, clean frame. And yeah, that's how I do my Trickster. Pretty simple. Yeah. If you would like to see more tutorials or whatever you want to see, feel free to write it in the comment section, leave a like, subscribe and tell me what I should do next. Bye.